Hi guys, Wayne here for the Let's Play Get Gaming channel and today I'm going to show you guys a guide that will teach you the best ways to use and prepare to use the blacksmith in Diablo 3 on the Xbox 360. You will gain access to the blacksmith after a quest early on in the game. From there, you will find yourself relying on the blacksmith for a large number of things including crafting new pieces of armour and weapons, breaking down magic weapons to get crafting supplies and also to repair any damage on your armour and weapons that you currently own. Of course, there are a number of ways that you can use the blacksmith to benefit you for the entire game and preparing to use the blacksmith starts from the second you start a new game. Firstly, you will notice that the far right option on the blacksmith tab once you gain access to him is train. The blacksmith, much like you, will start at level 1 and you will need to select an item from the train menu to add to the blacksmith's inventory. Please note that if you do train the blacksmith to use an item, you will not gain this item in your inventory, you will simply gain the ability to craft this item via the blacksmith and you will need crafting materials to do so. Every time you select an item from the blacksmith's training menu, which at first will cost you 1000 gold, the blacksmith will gain XP. After he has filled his XP bar, he will level up, which will upgrade his available crafting inventory and also his training menu. Basically, the more you train the blacksmith, the better equipment he will be able to offer you. Once the blacksmith is level 2 for example, he will start offering adept armour pieces and weapon pieces. The one that stands out in my mind is a plus 200 adept gothic shield for the barbarian class. While these do require a high level to wield, I thoroughly recommend training him to craft them as soon as they become available early on in the game, even if you cannot wield them. This is because the game for the early part has a tendency to hold your hand and make things a lot easier for you. While money may seem like a luxury early on in the game, the only thing that you should be spending money on is training the blacksmith as the armour and weapons he will be able to craft you in the future will keep you safe from harm for a large chunk of the game when it stops holding your hand. I have found that proper preparation is a key to success in Diablo 3 and this little tidbit of information is something that has benefited me throughout several major boss battles and tedious dungeons, especially when playing on the harder difficulties. There is no better way to prepare than to level up the blacksmith so that he can craft you better items later on in the game when you are the correct level to use them. So train him in advance and reap the benefits later, even if it does cost you every piece of gold that you find. Trust me guys, later on it will be well worth it. In keeping with the preparation is the key to success motto for Diablo 3, early on you will likely find a stockpile of magic items before you even gain access to the blacksmith. These pieces of weapons or armour are represented by their blue or orange backgrounds. If you find them but have no use for them, do not sell them for a minuscule amount of gold. Instead, keep them in your stash outside of the inn. When you unlock the blacksmith, you can take them out of your stash and salvage them at the blacksmith. Again, the materials you gain from salvaging will become priceless when the time comes to craft new gear. Overall guys, the blacksmith is a flawless asset to your team, but you're only going to make the best use of him and his abilities if you are prepared to use him to the best of his abilities. Stockpile your cash from the moment you start the game, and remember to stash away any magic items and armour and weapons that you may find. When the blacksmith is unlocked, salvage all of your unused magic equipment and spend all of your money on training him. You will initially unlock some great gear that you can use straight away, but more importantly, you will unlock the ability to craft epic gear that will benefit you for the rest of the game much later on. That's all there is to it folks, and I hope you've found this short blacksmith guide helpful. Don't forget to subscribe for more Diablo 3 guides and content. Wayne here for the Let's Play Cat Gaming Channel, wishing you all the best in your demon slaying endeavours, and saying goodbye. I'm not as bad as...